I see you're expected, Squire. Gives a man a very nice feeling. Yeah, I bet it does. As long as you don't forget what I told you. If it's not too late already. You're wrong about Therese. Quite wrong. That's what John the Baptist thought about Salome. Only I'm not in the business of dishing out heads. Well, you've only your own to lose. I don't know what they think, but I can make a pretty good guess. They think you're wasting their time and money coming here to France. Mm, that's about it. It's more their right. This time I came to see you and nothing more. Mm, I'm flattered. But there's still a great deal of the area you haven't seen. Go to hell with it. David, there are people you haven't met. Useful people. Truth is, I'm fed up with people too. And what about your report? I'll invent it. I'll invite the people too if I have to. And what would you, Mr. Melanie, think about that? Mr. Melanie would burst a blood vessel if he ever found out. But who is going to tell him? What kind of a man is he? Uh, more a machine, really, with batteries that never run down. The trouble is, he expects other people to be the same. And I'm not. You mean you enjoy life and he doesn't? I try to. I find it difficult. Or I did until I met you. Oh, I see. So it's me who's made you so irresponsible. Oh, loosen me up. Yes, you'd have to know my family to understand what I'm talking about. So tell me about them. No. There's only one thing more boring than talking about your own family, and that's other people's. Mm, I wouldn't know. I haven't got any. What about your father? Oh, except for him. But we hardly see each other. What to be said for that? You don't mean that. I do. Saddled with a guilty conscience about mine. I was lying in the bath the other day. And I suddenly thought, what the hell am I doing playing at big business? Boring me to death. And why did I sell my shares? Get out, go somewhere. Where would you go? I didn't get that far. My conscience stepped in. The first thing I thought of was, what would Edward and Brian do? My brothers. They'd survive, of course. But they'd be hurt, demoralized. Mother be horrified if I disappeared into thin air. So, there you were in the bath. And before the water had a chance to get cold, my mind was made up for me. Do nothing, stay put. Don't rock the boat. Cowardice, I suppose you'd call it. Peureux? No. Loyalty, maybe. I did decide on a compromise, though. I promised myself a few days here with you. I still think I ought to show you around. Thank you. David, how much would you get if you sell your shares? I don't know. I'm enough to do what I wanted. Is your Mr. Merony part of your family? <laughs> Touch wood, that's one thing we've been spared. What made you think that? Oh, it's just that around here everybody is related to everybody else. Mm. He's not related to anyone. I just found him under a gooseberry bush. Should have left him there. Is he a clever man? In his own way, I suppose so. Is he a good businessman? I don't really know that yet. Is he powerful? Why are you so interested in Marini? Oh, I just wondered whether he'd stand in your way. <laughs> it's just that there's so much opportunity here for a man like you, David. Your conscience is clear. Why? Because I spent the morning being bored to death by a flock of farmers who didn't like me anyway. They liked you, I'm sure. Kept of reminding it. me I was English. They would have plowed me into the ground if you hadn't been there. They hated me. Don't worry. If my father tells them to like you, then they'll like you. Your father seems to pull a lot of strings around here. What do you mean by that? Influence. He seems to have a lot of it. I'd like to meet him. We'll see. Who else's feelings does he organize? He owns a company that distributes fuel for this part of France. You never said that before. Why not? You never asked. 
That's crucial to us. To your company, I know. But you said you didn't care anymore. And that you were bored by it all. What did you mean when you said last night that there might be opportunities for a man like me? A man with money to invest. But not you, of course. You have your brothers to consider. Something might be arranged. David, would you ever leave England? If the offer was good enough. Especially if it meant a new way of life. I care with you. Then we'll talk about it. I'm listening. My father is going to open a hotel. And he wants it to be the first of several. And he wants me to run them. Well, where do I come in? You'd be quite welcome to join us if you want to. I can't even fry an egg, let alone run a hotel. Nor can you come to that. Does that matter? Well, I should think so. Don't make up your mind just yet, David. Just think about it. I will. Meanwhile, what are the plans for tonight? Do you like to gamble, David? I thought I'd let you sleep it off. Uh, thanks, but it's still with me. What was that stuff? Just a local liqueur. Harmless enough in small doses. You enjoyed it at the time, that's the main thing. Yes, I suppose so. I'll get you. Thanks. You're not very good at Baccarat, are you? <laughs> I haven't the faintest idea. Well, you were playing it last night. Yes, I know, but I can't remember how I got on. Can you? You lost. Badly? Nothing to worry about. Well, I like to know the extent of my sins. Your mother could see me now. Improperly dressed in a young French woman's flat discussing how much I gambled away the previous night. Marvellous. Eleven thousand pounds. Sorry? That's what you lost. Stop it. Mind my head. That's the truth. No, it can't be. I didn't bring that much with me. I have an IOU. Made out to whom? To me. I paid your bill last night. Are you serious? Yes. Am I supposed to thank you? Why didn't you stop me losing the money in the first place? I couldn't. You wouldn't let me. You were drunk. You're quite rough when you're drunk. No, I'm not eleven thousand pounds worth rough. Let me see that IOU. I gave it to my father. Yes, your mythical father, whom no one ever sees, but whose presence is felt everywhere. He is as disgusted with you as you seem to be with yourself. Well, he's got no right. Rest. Just a minute, David. I want my money back. You'll get it when I get back to England. Don't worry. Do you have that amount of cash available? Mind your own business. I'm only trying to help. I told you I could have helped you. You should have kept me sober and stopped me playing that ridiculous game. Don't blame me for your weaknesses. Now, do you want to hear my suggestion or not? I don't think so. It feels as if there might be a catch in it. It would cancel the debt. Go on, then. You give my father and me the contract to supply you with fuel. No chance. And a retainer. A small one. No, you really are all they said about you, Therese. Female answer to Dracula. Found a way of milking me and my company. Sell your shares, David. Invest in our hotels. But before you do, tell your company that we want a slice of the business cake. Remember the farmers who wouldn't talk to you? You're going to tell me now that they never will? Yeah, well, too bad. It really is worth thinking about it, David. I have. And it's no all the way. No, Therese, I can't. Why not? Because, because it isn't as simple as that. Of course it is. You could if you wanted to. I am not used of being treated so casually. Now you're being silly. And you're being very English. Mon Dieu, mais vous êtes des idiots! I warn you, David. If you don't do as I say, there will be trouble. Can't you see? I'm just a very small cog in a large oh, wheel. It God. doesn't depend on me. Oh. 